It's time to talk about extending your bubble to your skirts. Julie is going to show us how to DIY this fashion trend. And Jules, you are wearing a bubble hem right now. It looks amazing. And you are a big fan, right? Okay, Trace, I will say this right now. I am a big fan. I love the bubble hem. Totally. But it may not be for everyone. I love the headline, according to In Style magazine, that the uh, bubble hem was the, one of the most unfortunate trends of the <laughs> 2000s making a comeback. <laughs> It's a real love or hate thing with it. But for me, Tracy, and I know you can attest to this, is as a designer, the, we need it. That's what makes our lines different. There's only so many different lengths of a skirt, a mini, knee length, full length. When you bring in these different types of hems, it really adds, you know, character to your line. I mean, we did it in pre-love, I think, in our 2010 collection, and we're bringing it back in our 2021. So it's something that really, you know, helps out a collection is really what I would say for sure. Okay, when else were bubble skirts sort of in style, Jules? You know what, Tracy? It was like high fashion in Paris in the 1950s. Like, I love those looks. Like, it's so classic, so beautiful. And then, of course, it's all over the runways today. So it's just that sort of classic thing that keeps coming back again. But, okay, Trace, I got a quick little DIY here. This is what I like to call the no-sew, tuck-and-go bubble hem. <laughs> so this is for the people that are not ready to completely commit yet. You're going to pick up one side of the hem, bring it across the body, and tuck it in to the waistband. Then you're going to tuck in, or sorry, grab the other side, pull it up and tuck it in. Then kind of gather up the back and shove it all into the waistband and ta-da, bubble hem for a night. So what I would suggest though is adding a safety pin or two because your bubble hem can turn into a full length dress very quickly. <laughs> Okay, so that is very easy. Uh, now, for someone who wants a more permanent version, this is what you're going to need for this DIY. You'll need a skirt, thread, scissors, elastic waistband, and pins. Tracy, you forgot one other thing. You need your glasses when you're getting serious <laughs> about your DIYs. <laughs> and the glasses <laughs> okay so your skirt that you're the skirt you're gonna pick is um really any skirt you have in your closet what i would suggest though trace is going with the skirt that is already fuller because obviously the bigger the skirt is to begin with then the bigger the bubble will end up at the end so just grab anything with pleats will work really really well so the first step what you're going to do is you're just going to fold over the existing hem anywhere from two inches to four inches then what you'll want to do is just pin along the hem. You can press it down if you need to, but this skirt, I don't seem to need to press it down because it's just working nicely like that. Now you're going to want to close it. So you can, if you've got a sewing machine at home, yay, you can do a quick straight stitch along here. It'll be fantastic. You can use a needle or thread. And Tracy, you know me, you can use fabric glue. Do you even leave home without it, Jules? <laughs> No, I do. I love it. I use it all the time. But you know what? Apparently, I need to, like, broaden my horizon. So today, Tracy, <laughs> look at it. It's happening. Needle and thread. Whoa. So <laughs> it's really easy. This is a great one to do it with. So you're just going to make little stitches along that hemline. And if you are using your needle and thread, not too big. You just want to pull them nice. And again, Tracy, don't pull them too tight. You don't want to gather the skirt at this point, like with the thread. Then, next step, fun step, elastic. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take fabric elastic and then measuring it really, I just want to measure around my own hips. You know, you really can't go too, too wrong with this. So take a measurement around your hip. It's about a meter, meter and a half. Then what you're going to need are safety pins. And you're going to attach one safety pin to the end of the elastic and then the other safety pin to the elastic and then this one you're going to attach to the skirt sort of to anchor it hold it in place mm. then you will start to feed your um, elastic through the hem that you have made here and in true television style i have another one tracy uh, <laughs> <laughs> so i've got this cute little skirt here where you can see the um pin has come through and we're ready to go. So we've got the elastic on the one side and here it comes through here on the other. Okay, now comes the fun part, Trace. 
we are going to pull the elastic and you pull as much as you want, mm. as bubbly as you want it. And you just keep pulling it. Then you can just attach the two ends together and you could do this with a stitch. But if you're like me, Trace, we're going to leave it with a pin. We're just going to pin it and we're just yeah. going to tuck it in. Right, done, easy. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Look, cute oh, wow. little bubble ham. Easy. That right? is so easy. So and easy to do. I'm not going to burst your bubble. I love the look. Yeah. So good. <laughs> <laughs> And everyone at home, you see how easy that was? Yet again, with fabric glue in hand uh, or even needle and thread, you've added another stylish item to our fashion repertoire. Thank you, Jewel.